Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like my friend Melissa here from within the digital infrastructure industries. And we are coming at you live. We are live, Melissa. We are live at PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And as I said, I'm here with my, my friend Melissa Farney. Melissa is the Director of Marketing at Tech fusions melissa welcome as always to good, jsa tv thank you so much good morning good yeah, good 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 morning it, it is morning it I is so. did you get enough coffee this morning yeah me neither me neither although, although people people on the other side are just like did you have too much coffee this morning yeah yeah <laughs> exactly right, give me an iv drip of whatever you've got going on yeah. so melissa let's get let's get into this shall we so tech fusions uh, newer in the industry, mm -hmm. but backed by a stable of really experienced people mm -hmm. that kind of allow you to do things a little bit differently in the industry. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it is you do and how you do it differently? Absolutely. Uh, well, like you said, backed by just icons with decades of experience. Right. So our founder, Simon Tusha, uh, actually just last year, um, capped off his 30 year anniversary of building data centers. Not many people can actually say 30 that. years. We had data centers 30 years uh, exactly, ago. Apparently exactly. We did. Well, so, uh, but then there are so many other experts in our company who have two decades who, who've been here for quite some yes. time and not just in the data center space, but also in power and other areas of, we've heard a little bit about power over the last couple well, of exactly. days too. Yeah, yeah. It's becoming crucial to have mm -hmm. that wealth of experience across all of these tangential areas. Yeah. So it, has enabled us to do things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So we're doing what we're calling adaptive reuse, mm -hmm. which is acquiring older industrial sites and repurposing them into data centers. I love this so centers. much. You know I love I, this. I love it. Well, yeah. and, and I will say, as we redesign each of them to make them more efficient, frankly, that requires not just a lot of creativity in mm -hmm. the new application, but a lot of experience and expertise. I mean, you yeah. cannot step into a, a chocolate factory and envision a data center without knowing every intimate detail of the system. Melissa, did you product. turn a chocolate factory into a data center? We did turn oh. a chocolate factory into a data center. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, that sounds awesome. It sounds yeah. like it smells wonderful in there too, probably. No, I don't know. About oh, that. come on. But then, like you said, with power, yeah. microgrids are the yeah. are the other area where that expertise is being applied because yeah. we are trying to build in our own power production. Mm -hmm. So the, that's the trifecta right there. I believe that. I believe that. And now I kind of do want a little bit of chocolate, but <laughs> we're going to, we're going to move on. Honestly, Melissa, I, um, uh, I knew a little bit about what tech fusions, um, does and is doing because I can't get out of your news cycle <laughs> right now. There's a lot of news coming out of Tech Fusions. This mm -hmm. new room, uh, newsroom. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the latest and greatest? All right. So, I mean, it continues to develop across all of our sites. Uh, our Clarksville site, which was really our first mm -hmm. flagship site, that continues to grow. Um, you know, right now, I think we've just exceeded 26,000 GPUs, which mm -hmm. would make this the second largest, at least publicly stated, second largest GPU cluster deployment in the world. The first, of course, being Mr. Elon Musk's with Colossus. Who? Yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> that guy. That guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's number one. That yeah. site just continues to grow and excel. It's really where we've tested all of these strategies and yeah. put them to use. Then we inked a one gigawatt deal with TensorWave. That was that was big news. But then this past week saw even more, even more great stuff. Yeah. So we secured uh, just under a 14 acre site in Pennsylvania. We're mm -hmm. calling it uh, Tech Fusion's Keystone Connect. Ooh, and I this like that. site is capable of hosting three gigawatts of capacity at its full build out. So this will be major. Uh, it does have, it was an old Alcoa R&D site. So it's That's another so reuse cool. story. Yes. Um, there's on-site nat gas for producing our own power, uh, and but the reuse of site is making capacity immediately available uh, for rapid deployment. So I feel like I'm almost eating some of my original words at the beginning where I said newer to the industry, because 
given the experience of, of your thought yeah. leaders within, within the company, mm -hmm. given some of the kind of innovative ways that you are already kind of serving uh, your, your current customers and future customers, mm -hmm. it feels like you've been around a lot longer. Well, I mean, how do you step into a new company, but make it feel like an old company that's already ready with capacity? That's yeah. how you do it. Hey, you know what? Strong work on the marketing side too, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Melissa, in closing, nobody gets out of the chair without talking about AI. Mm -hmm. um, everybody talks about AI, mm -hmm. uh, and that includes you. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what uh, the, the tech fusion play in AI would be? It seems pretty obvious to me, but maybe not to our viewers. Well, like I've said with the adaptive reuse, so we can be operational in months, not years. Yeah. And as everybody is saying with AI, it is an arms race. Yeah. We don't have years. We, yeah. So how do we get time back on our side? Obviously, immediately having available capacity and yes. a structure that's already there. That's one way. But then we also need to consider all of the other resources because that's that's what we're facing is yeah. resource constraints all over the place. And, you know, space used to be the biggest thing. And now as we're seeing densities go up, that's <laughs> Re that continues. Remember space being the big thing? <laughs> remember yeah, when yeah, it yeah, was yeah. just like, how much can I fit in? Yeah. Um, but then power, obviously we're solving for that with uh, with producing our own, mm -hmm. but I will say there are added benefits to AI because you see the loads fluctuate mm -hmm. so much, mm -hmm. it's hard to work with your local utility. So by producing our own, we're getting away from that variability yeah. and, and that's helping us. But then the last, and this is probably the most important financial, the capital. That's the last constraint. I forgot about that. Oh, it, it, costs, a, it costs a pretty penny. It, it costs money to it do this? It costs so much money. Weird. So with the rapid deployment, that time to revenue mm -hmm. is absolutely critical because there's so much cost up front. But it, then if it takes years, you know, it, if it takes two years to build from the ground up, your hardware is already obsolete by the time you've opened. You're not going to make any money. Off. Yeah. So this is how we're solving for the AI need is by making it immediately available and fit to suit for that application. And there are so many things to unpack, unfortunately, <laughs> with what you just said. Yeah. The whole concept of bring your own power, I love that so much. Yeah. The repurposing of all of that stuff, really great financial stuff. Really didn't consider that so much today when we're talking about AI. Um, Melissa, it is always a pleasure. Absolutely. Well, there is a lot to unpack, so everybody yeah. tune in. We'll continue telling our story, well, and I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Tech Fusions, um, I will definitely uh, keep my eyes and ears open. Yep. Um, I can't help it with you guys. I just I just love what you're doing so much. So thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.